Today is going to be absolutely wild for crypto. Extreme swings in volatility in the crypto price are expected for today for Bitcoin, but also for the altcoins as they're moving with the market. And I want to go a little bit into why it's happening and what is likely going to happen and why we need to be careful today with our actions. Hey everyone, it's the patient hodler coming at you with another very quick crypto video update. And if you like these updates, if you enjoy them, then smash up the like button right now so that you can help this channel to grow. Also, don't forget to subscribe and tick the little bell to always get notified whenever I launch an update. And let's talk about what's going on. So obviously everyone knows by now that today the Fed rate decision is going to happen. It's going to be announced. The decision is somewhere between 25 and 50 basis point rate cut. There were some rumors about a potential 75 basis point rate cut, but I don't think that this is in the card. The market is, and this is something absolutely new, the market is still relatively undecided whether it's going to be a 25 basis point cut or a 50 basis point cut. And this indecision usually leads to wild swings in the market. But what is very important is that the market has consensus about that this cut is happening. And first prediction here is that whether it's going to be 25 or 50 basis points, the market will have a wild reaction to it and will continue to wildly react because afterwards Jerome Powell is giving his press conference is, is going to talk and depending on what he says, people will deduct certain things about the market from it. So obviously, the rate cuts are coming in as inflation, at least the official inflation rate is lowering. And obviously people are going to either interpret into these rate cuts that the economy is in a better state and maybe there is a soft landing or that the economy is in a very bad state and that there is going to be a recession or a crash. Now, with regards to the recession, we have been seeing in the past months the job creation numbers have actually been false since many, many months, over a year already. And recently they have been revised downward by 818,000 jobs. So that the real number of jobs that have actually been created shows a way softer job market. And therefore there could be the theory that we have already been in a recession in the last 12 months. So maybe that recession is already very far in progress and is already happening. So what people are going to probably interpret is that if the rate cut is bigger, 50 or even more basis points, that the Fed is seeing a crisis looming and that could lead after an initial pump to a bigger crash. But for sure, I think that speculators are stacking at the moment long positions those who are bullish on the cut and then also many short positions because rate cuts traditionally have been bearish for the markets and maybe people want to profit with leverage shorts uh, on a downward move. And as always in these situations of indecision, the market is very likely going to draw a whipsaw pattern where it first violently moves in one direction, liquidates the longs, for example, and then goes violently upward to liquidate the shorts and then goes into a regular movement. So this could happen if you're a trader, you are probably knowing this. And if you don't know, then be very, very careful on this day as those wild swings are very likely going to occur this whipsaw pattern in either direction. Uh, overall, the market consensus is the rate cut will be happening no matter which points. And usually this means that once it happens, there could be a sell the news event for all of those that, that think that it is bullish. So basically the market could pump a little bit and then the sell the news event could hit. So if we are looking at the market comparison where we are, if we overlay our markets, there's still a couple of days left for us really to go into our expansion move. So if we look at this couple of more weeks to wait until we are basically in October, and October traditionally is a green month, October. So if everything happens as it happened in the last cycles, then we should be going into an expansion in 
October. And I think long term, we shouldn't be, even if we crash on these rate cuts for a couple of weeks or so, if we go to lower prices, we shouldn't be too afraid. We see that MicroStrategy is taking out new loans, 700 million, just to buy more Bitcoin. We see that wealthy people through ETFs, they are buying Bitcoin. We see that the long-term outlook for Bitcoin means more adoption. We see that global liquidity is on the rise, which means that the financial bazookas of these central banks are locked and loaded, ready to fire off. So at some point, this bull run will continue and it will everything will fly. I'm very sure of that. Um, but obviously, this is not financial advice. You take your own decision. And if you want to move out of the market, that is up to you. But let me know what you think is going to happen today. And wherever you are on the world, have yourselves a great morning, evening, day, night or afternoon. I see you in the next video. Bye.